welcome back to Breffing 10. Today I am going to show you exactly what is going to be in my hospital bag for when the baby comes. I know I already did a video of like ideas of what I wanted to put in and I went over like a list that someone else did. But today I'm actually getting around to packing my bag and I'm a little late in the game doing this. Normally I have my bag packed like a month or two in advance. Not this time. This time it's a week and a half before my due date and I am finally getting my bag packed. So without further ado, here is what is inside my hospital bag. So I guess we'll just go from the bottom up. So I brought, I'm going to bring some flip flops and my trusty house moccasins um, to the hospital. Flip flops for like the shower and bathroom and these just for comfort. They're like my favorite thing and they're like, they're, they're pretty nasty and so I'm not really worried about having them in the hospital. And then obviously some socks, like some nice comfy thick socks and some just normal thin ones. For comfy um, bottoms, I just have some black leggings and my black uh, sweats. If you hear a little voice in the background, it's Piper. She's right down here, just hanging out. So yeah, these are just my, my comfy stuff that I wear all the time. I'm bringing those and I'm actually not even bringing any jeans or anything to go home in. A lot of girls want to have like something cute to wear for when they go home. I don't, I've gained probably, I think I've gained at least 30 pounds with this pregnancy and I know that's not all with baby and it's not all going to be gone when I leave the hospital so I don't even know what pants I will fit in um, that I used to so I'm just planning on wearing my comfy sweats or leggings home um, for when we leave as well. I'm bringing, um, I have just like one uh, cami that I'm taking with me, just a black one that I really love. And I'm also just bringing an assortment of shirts. And one of them is a button up shirt for comfort and then these two are pretty much just comfy. I, I'll wear these ones as pajamas when I'm not pregnant and so I'm kind of planning on these being my PJ shirt. I, this is my third baby and so as far as having like button up stuff for nursing, I'm not super I'm not really worried about that just because I'm experienced with nursing now, but I just, I don't know. I don't need to have the button up stuff, especially for nursing issues, but I did, I mean, I am bringing one just in case that is um, something, but yeah, so I'm just bringing like three shirts. Um, oh, I probably should grab a t-shirt too. That would be smart. I also just got this. So this is a nursing bra that I just got and I've never actually had a legitimate nursing bra and I'm really excited about this. The only thing that makes it, well, I don't know, it, it clips. Can you see what it's doing? It clips um, off and then your, the pad will just fall down so you have easy access to what is needed. But I just got three of these and they're really comfy. They have like a really great thick um, like underband that I think will be super comfy and they even come with an extra like clipper to make it bigger in the back. Have you ever seen these? So like, anyway, nursing bras are kind of a necessity. Um, what I used in the past was just a bra that had a clip in the front, but it wasn't necessarily a legit nursing bra. Anyway, they are necessary and you want one and you want a comfy one too. I, I don't like ones that have underwire just because it gets really uncomfortable when you're engorged and ugh. TMI, I, this is a pregnancy vlog, so if that's TMI, then maybe just click away. Also, um, you're just gonna want some like extra underwear. I had bought these, this pair, they're just like cotton bikini underwears. So you're gonna want some um, comfy underwear to be able to handle everything down there while you're in the hospital. Also, something I'm really excited about is this lovely robe that my sister-in-law got me for Christmas. Um, in my one vlog I was talking about needing a robe and she saw the vlog and so she got me this for Christmas. How sweet is that? So this is actually a maternity one. I'm not sure where she got it. It might be from Target or something. I don't know. But um, it's just really big and comfy and I think it's maternity meaning it's just like big enough to house your belly um, as well as other times. So I don't know. I'm really excited about that. It ties like on the side, on the inside, and then also around on the outside. So yeah. So I think that pretty much covers clothing in my department. Let's move on to comforts. I am bringing, I'm gonna bring a towel and uh, my own pillow. I don't really have a lot of issues with hospital things. Like, I don't know, I don't get like grossed out by things like that, but um, I remember with Piper's birth last, or with Piper's birth, when I was in triage, the something about the smell of the pillows was like making me just not very happy. And 
triage is a terrible place just in general <laughs> so I was happy to have my own pillows and um, some advice I got from watching someone else's video was to put them in like a special pillowcase instead of just white so that people know that those aren't the hospital pillows so I put them in just like a pillowcase that we have hanging around here um, and I'm also bringing my own towel mostly because the towels at the hospital are usually too small and just like wimpy and so I just thought why not I'll just bring my own towel I have the space so I'm gonna put that in. Um, going along the theme of hygiene and the bathroom issues, with, with Porter, I like forgot to bring so many things that have to do with hygiene. <laughs> I don't know. I probably brought like my toothbrush, but I didn't bring anything like shampoo or anything. So the other day when I was at Walmart, I just went into the travel size section of the pharmacy or whatever and I grabbed a whole bunch of like little things. So I have body wash and shampoo and conditioner. Um, I got some deodorant and contact solution and yeah so I definitely like having those types of things around um, plus I really need to have chapstick so I have some chapstick and um, all my like glasses and contacts things so I have my, my, my glasses case which this is one thing about going into labor is if it happens quickly like you want to have things that you need to grab that you use regularly and so um, what I'm going to do is put like my glasses and my toothbrush and stuff, make sure they're always close by so I can kind of grab those on the way out the door if it happens pretty quickly, which I'm not really concerned about that, but, but you definitely don't want to forget certain things like your toothbrush and your glasses. So another important thing that you're going to want to bring um, are just really enormous maxi pads. Um, these ones aren't that big actually. But I have a couple left over from a long time ago, and so I'm going to stick these in my bag. The hospital has like enormous ones, at least mine, the two hospitals that I delivered at always did, like diaper sized pads for you, for the, the moms. So bring some of your own, especially like for when you're going home and things. But the hospital has like a lot of things that you'll need. They even had like socks for me um, that were kind of fun and like grippy and pads and diapers for your baby, they have a lot of stuff. So don't worry about like checking every single thing that you could possibly need off of your list because it's it's just not gonna be that crazy. And usually I think hospitals are like in cities and so there's probably gonna be a store nearby in case you did forget something that was really important. Anyway, moving on. I am gonna bring some makeup. I know some girls are like, I don't even wanna care about makeup when I'm in there, but I do. So I'm gonna probably have my little like makeup bag ready for me to put some stuff in on the way out the door. All right, so I think that's it for my things. Let's move on to the baby things because that's what's mostly important, right? Okay, so my two babies have been pretty small. Porter was seven pounds, six ounces, and Piper was six pounds, seven ounces. I know, right? And those, like, those are great numbers for me to remember. It's awesome. So they've always been very, like, very well fitted into newborn size clothes. But just in case, I am bringing some zero to three clothes as well. So I've got two little pairs of pants because it is January in Utah, so it's gonna be pretty cold. Um, I've got three pairs of little socks and um, mittens. These are actually mittens that Porter used when I brought him from the hospital all those years ago. Um, but mittens are important because it is not a myth that these babies like tear at their skin and it's so sad and their nails are so sharp. So either have mittens or have um, like long sleeve clothes that have those like folding over sleeves but you want you're, you're gonna want to have mittens and then I just have this little binky that I found well Zach brought this back from a, one of his trips that he went on um, it's a cute little binky so I thought I'll just throw it in there I like my babies to have binkies if they can have a binky I would prefer it <laughs> because they're very handy so I'm bringing three little um, onesies long sleeve onesies these ones are so warm and cute and can you just believe how little that is guys I mean so teeny tiny and they actually fit in this thing I think I remember when I brought Porter home like this was kind of big on him I don't know it's crazy so I have these two cute little ones that my sister-in-law got me and then I have this one from my mom um, that's actually a zero to three month size just in case the baby's a little bigger than I'm expecting I'm not expecting him to be that big. So just a couple of onesies, some pants, and then some pajamas, some cute little footy pajamas. These ones are, this is what I'm talking about with like the folding over the hands things. They have these cute little um, cuffs on the sleeves that you just fold over and it, it, it keeps their little fingers inside their sleeves. Keeps them warm, keeps them from scratching their face, and it's really cute. So personally, I like zipper onesies, um, but I do have this one from Gap that is so sweet and soft but it does have the 
the snaps, which are always the easiest, but I'll deal with that because it's so cute. And then it also has the little flippy hand thingies. So these are the two that I'm bringing. They're both newborn sizes, up to seven pounds, and this one's newborn. So, um, yeah, but I think they'll fit him. I mean, I don't know, I haven't met the kid yet, but I'm pretty sure they will fit him. And then last for the last for the clothing, I'm just bringing him this little sweater and a hat. I'm getting some more hats in the mail. I just ordered some more baby clothes from Old Navy, so if they get here in time, then I'll probably put some of the beanies I got from there in the bag too. Uh, but yeah, definitely gonna wanna have them have a hat. Pretty much like, I don't know, I guess maybe not in the summertime, but they get just really cold. And so you're gonna wanna have a beanie whether it's like winter or summer, I would think. Anyway, so that to keep him warm. Plus I have a bunch of these swaddle blankets. I love them, I just love the material. It's stretchy, they're really easy to swaddle the baby in. I'm a total swaddler, so I love these. And then a, a burp rag. I do not have any diapers yet. <laughs> I need to order some. I do all of my diaper um, stocking on Amazon because I love it. I love getting the diapers at my doorstep. This is not a paid advertisement or anything. I just really love Amazon. So I'll probably bring a couple diapers and wipes even though the hospital has the diapers and they usually even send you home with diapers. So it's not totally necessary but it would be a little silly not to bring any. Going along with that, you're gonna want to bring your baby car seat. You want to have the car seat base installed in your car long before you, you even go to the hospital. Me and Zach are actually going to probably be doing that today or tomorrow, um, just in case we haven't like actually installed that yet. <laughs> but we have the car seat. Um, our car seat is getting a little bit old actually, and car seats do expire. If you guys didn't know that, check yours to make sure it's not. And as far as like them not being safe, I don't think is so much a thing. As, but if say you got like in a car accident or something, you might get dinged a little bit for having a, an expired car seat. So I don't know, ours is good for another year, so it should be pretty good for the for this little guy. So lastly, it's just kind of things that are elect, like all electronic things. So with all my camera gear, I'm gonna wanna bring like my little tripod, um, my battery charger, the wall charger. I'm actually even gonna bring a power strip just because we have so many things that we we're gonna wanna plug in. And I've been to hospitals before where there's like one random outlet like in the corner of the room. So I'm gonna bring up a power strip <laughs> so we can plug all of our crap in. Um, and then yeah, I'm gonna wanna bring my camera, my um, battery charger, your phone charger. If you're gonna bring your iPad or computer, bring those chargers. It's a little ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna bring my computer or my iPad, I'm just gonna stick with my phone. I can pretty much do everything on my phone anyway. So we'll stick with that, but don't forget to bring those things, especially when you're going to want to be taking pictures and calling people. Um, I think that's it. Um, whoever is coming with you to the hospital, for example, Zach will be coming with me. He's gonna wanna have his own bag as well. It'll be a lot smaller, but he'll probably need his comfy clothes, some shoes, some socks, some pajamas, a nice shirt, um, like a nicer day shirt, and some snacks and all of his electronic things. Um, but other than that, me and Zach are kind of low maintenance. I'll, I'll, I'll probably like, he, he gets like the ESPN magazine, so maybe I'll have him put some of those in so that he can um, have something to do while I'm in labor or sleeping. But other than that, honestly, as far as entertainment goes, our phones will probably keep us entertained while we are in like waiting mode. So yeah, this is all my stuff and I'm actually putting it in a roller suitcase. So I'm actually going to be putting everything in our roller suitcase. I just really love this suitcase. It's gonna be plenty big. It's on four wheels and so it'll be way easier for whoever has to have this to roll it around. Um, I know a lot of girls like to go get fancy bags for their hospital bags, but I just think that's like, I just don't care about those types of things. I wanna be like efficient and clean cut. So I just have um, this roller suitcase to put all our stuff in. Hopefully everything will fit. Um, Zach might have to have a backpack full of stuff for himself because um, I think I'm going to have a lot of stuff in here. So I've hit a lot of items that I'm going to have in my bag. I probably will add some more as I start thinking about it some more. Um, but I think that's a pretty good list. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Yikes, we're getting so close to my due date and I feel like this baby wants to come. But you just never know. Why don't they like tell you, give you a schedule or something? Um, but other than that, uh, we're just really excited and Zach's really excited now that we're home and settled and, and things are getting back to normal. We are getting so excited for this baby boy. I can't wait to meet him. And I think that is it, people. Thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Bye.